How do you do? All right. How goes it with you? Very well, thank you. Anything happening? There's been a lot of close calls tonight. That's all I can say. Yes, well, say la vie. <laughs> huh? My advice, Bob, is for you to practice up. Practice? Yeah, stop so looking so lively and practice the act, you know? I'm not sure that I Playing understand. Playing dead. Get my drift lit. Oh, now, I don't think that I could... Come ever... on, it's Friday night. Get with the program. Oh, if you think it will be of some value. I do like to think of myself as a team player, someone who's accommodating. So get so... with it, then. Yes, right, okay. <clears throat> Here goes. <laughs> what have you got? A death wish or something? Do you understand what's going on here? The idea, my friend, is to look unappealing. Of course, if you had some kind of defects now, that would help. Defect? Yeah, like this one guy, Max. He had this major kind of growth thing here. It was pretty gross when you get down to it, but the good news is, nobody wants to see that sitting on their plate. Yeah, the guy is home free. What happened to him? Oh, they got tired of looking at him in here, so they shipped him off to another tank. Last I heard, he's still toughing it out. Yeah, Max will probably live forever. Not much luck with the lady's mind. You know, that thing on his shoulder's a real turn off, but hey, you can't have everything. Look, my point is that we... Friend? May I call you friend? Well, you can call me anything that you want. Uh, right. I thank you for sharing all of this with me. I really do. Oh. Um, it well. demonstrates a true generosity of spirit, <laughs> uh, a real comrades-in-arms approach, which I find most refreshing. But you must understand that my point of view is, well, as I see things, there is special providence in the fall of a sparrow. Oh, great. This week's tank mate is a religious nut. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't nut. understand. N-U-T-T, -T, nuts! We're playing the major end game here and you're talking about sparrows? Look, one of those characters out there takes a shine to the way that you swing your claw and it's into the pot. Am I getting through? We are talking about life and death, correct? That is the metaphysical question at issue here, yeah? The meta what? Oh, look. I suspect we got off on the wrong claw. <laughs> um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Stuart, although my friends call me Stu. And uh, you would be... Liz. Liz is the name. Well, but... delighted to make your acquaintance, Liz. Now, about this situation which you posit, are we... Well, I am positing nothing and you won't be neither unless you stop looking so damn perky. Well, let's be... It's clear that we understand one another. You wish me to alter my demeanour, yes? To change my appearance? Yeah, that's what I want. Or Stu, as he's known to his friends, is going to end up in the stew pot. Look, it's Friday night, the big seafood night of the week. You see those menus out there? Do you know what's on them? Lobster Thermidor. Mm. Lobster Newberg. Lobster beast, whole lobster, lobster lumps, lobster tails, lobster soda. They're talking about us. We're not in here because they like watching us stroll around the tank. Any minute now, somebody's going to come up here and say, Give me that one. Do you know there's something very puzzling about what you're saying? It's puzzling, all right, because you ain't getting it. I mean, on the one claw, it is clear that you have a true understanding of destiny and the fates, and yet, whilst you have this understanding, I suspect that you have absolutely no acceptance of reality. Oh, I get it. You want to end up beet red next to a sprig of parsley in a tub of melted butter, is that it? Liz, 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 take a moment here. Smell the plankton. <laughs> what are you? What do you mean, what am I? Well, you are a lobster, correct? As am I. Well, give him a big blue ribbon. And point. the destiny of a lobster would be... Oh, as the galaxies spin through the universe, and as the planets within those galaxies orbit their suns, and as the Earth turns on its axis... I'm going to oh, die already! Oh, oh, it is the destiny of every lobster. The very essence of 
lobsterness, I might say, to enrich the firmament in the only way in which we know how. You see, we don't play musical instruments or write compositions. We don't grow plants or harness the power of the wind or the sea. No. The purpose of a lobster, pure and simple, is to make the world a better place by being... By being the priciest thing on the menu? Well, I would say in our own way, we enrich the earth. And I say, you're nuts. What do you mean enrich? Who's getting rich around here? You? Me? The guy that pulled us out of the drink, maybe. A and the character that runs this joint. They're getting rich, not you and me. You really do have an us against them mentality, don't you? Because it is us against them. But they're human, remember? They have dominion. You know, birds of the air, fish of the sea. Well, and that's supposed to make it okay? What do I do? Put a sign on my claw saying, cook me? Where's your will to live? You're a fighting spirit, or are you the kind that doesn't have any? I have plenty of spirit, thank you very much. <coughs> I simply will not stoop to pretending to be dead. Well, I'll stoop. I'll stoop, all right. Makes more sense than what you're doing. Why don't you just hang a sign on your claw saying, Good eating starts here. Well, it does. Are you aware that we have the tastiest meat in the entire... Whoa, ho, ho. do not refer to my insides as meat. Enough is enough. If you want to end up as a blue plate special, that's up to you. Me, I got other plans. La 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 Am I bothering you? Yeah, you're bothering me. I'm trying to go on living over here. Can you get that? Oh, forgive me. <laughs> call that a living, do you? What is... Yeah, I call it a living. Well, it doesn't look like the sort of thing one would do if one actually had a life. Oh, you're saying I've got no life. What I'm saying is, what kind of a life is it if it looks like a death? Or to put it another way, if you spend so much of your time pretending to be dead, what's the point of being alive? Well, that... That is, is too much for somebody like me to figure out. I don't know why I do it. I... If you don't know why you're doing it, why do you do it? Will you stop with the questions? I do it because... Because, because if I don't, they're going to bring an end to me, see? They're holding all the cards. Cards? All right. Tongs, then. Any minute now, they can pick them up and then I'm dead me. I thought you didn't like that word. I am trying to make a point, which you don't seem to get. They're in charge, and they can do anything that they want, and calm then... down, Liz, <coughs> calm down. Have you not heard of the theory? What? The theory about them. Once you understand it, it makes our situation easier to take. Well, what are you talking about? What theory? Well, why didn't you listen to me? Yes, just hear me out, okay? All right, I'll listen to your cockamamie theory, but on They are in a tank, too. What? They are in a tank too, just like us. No. Yes. But where is it? Because I, I don't see anything out well, there. Of course you don't. It's much bigger than this thing. Well, how does it work? What's the setup like? Well, as I say, it is quite sizable. Thing is, you see, you and I, we know we're in a tank. They don't. But... And... We know we have a limited amount of time, right? Well, yeah, sure. I mean, any minute now, it could be sayonara, Liz. <laughs> well, they behave as though they're going to be around forever. And then one day, zap! Zap? Yes, zap! And no matter how many times they see it happen, they're never prepared. 
I thought they were supposed to be smart. I know, it's bizarre, isn't it? But they always seem to think it's someone else's turn. Wow, that's dumb. Yes. So do they get tossed into boiling water and eaten with little forks? No. The end result is the same, though. Mostly, they carry within them the seeds of their own destruction. Huh? They do stupid things. They invent stupid things. Like what? Oh, like 0.357 magnums, plastic explosives, unbuckled seatbelts, atom bombs, frozen margaritas, lucky strikes, breast implants, separating tire treads, thick steaks, toxic waste, crack cocaine, too much aerosol, not enough sunblock, six packs of lager in 20 ounce cans. How come they never figure that stuff out? Well, that's easy. You see, you and I and every other living creature, we have something that they just don't have. What's that? An inherited, basically unalterable tendency to make complex yet very specific responses to environmental stimuli without involving reason. <laughs> <laughs> Could you try using little words? Oh, instincts. We have lots and lots of instincts. And they don't? No. Just brains. Lots of brains. You know, the way I see it, there wasn't enough room for instincts when they'd squeezed all those brains in there. You see, instincts automatically tell you a lot of things. Like something bigger than us is in charge. Precisely. You see, we just naturally get that. Hey, hey, hey. I, I bet with all the brain thing going on, they think they're in charge. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> Got no instincts at all? Well, there is one major exception to the rule. You see, the basic plan had to be altered to ensure that there was enough of them to go around. <laughs> they did get the mating instinct, but it was sort of added on at the last minute, you know, squeezed in. And get this, once that kicks in, their brains shut down completely. <laughs> you mean... They can't mate and think at the same time. No, it's a physical impossibility. They get to do one or the other, never both simultaneously. <laughs> oh, the screw-ups that must lead to. Yes. And I always thought they had it made. Well, the seaweed is always greener in the other tank. <laughs> but how come we end up on the forks and they end up with the plates? How come humans get to pick and choose? Well, my friend, you just put your claw right on it. They have to choose, not just us either. They have to choose everything. They choose what to do all day, every day. Oh, how hard can that be? Well, some of them are reckless and they don't choose the right things. Some of them are too cautious and don't choose enough. Some of them get so hung up on choosing that they don't do anything at all. And some, well, some are just scared. Oh, come on. Oh, it's true. You know, I don't think I'd like to make all of those decisions every day. With instincts, all we do is... We go with our gut. We do. My friend, you speak directly. Oh, yeah, that's me. I still don't buy that they're scared. I, I mean, take a look at the giant in the plaid jacket over there. What's he afraid of? The unknown. The uncertain. Hey, 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 what if they think that we're moving up the food chain and they're afraid of us? What? We're evolving into a higher life form? And they're evolving down. I, I believe the word is devolving. Do you know I hadn't thought of that? Maybe that's why they put these rubber bands on us. My friend, you may have a point there. Oh, I've got a lot of points. Yes, you certainly do. <laughs> and if that is true, why, since the world is more water than it is land, and that is our natural environment... <laughs> then, then we could go... Anywhere! We've got antennae! Built-in armor! We've got tails which propel us at 25 feet per second! We don't need cars, or wheels, or even shoes! Without these blue bands, we could do anything! The strong! The invincible! The, the lobsters! <laughs> well, that was rather fun. Yeah, I thought so. Would you tell me something? Did you come out of the same ocean I did? Because I don't understand how you can look like me and know all this stuff. The same ocean, yes. 
but for a long time I lived in a tank in a talking books production studio. Yeah. Books talk? No, but people came in and read the books out loud. What kind of books? Oh, um, <clears throat> the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. <laughs> How to organise your closets. <laughs> The rudiments of elementary logic. The King James Bible. How to get fit in five minutes a day. Yes, people were coming in and reading books out loud right around the clock. So what happened? Well, the business got so successful it was swallowed up by a major corporation in a leveraged buyout. <laughs> What's a leveraged buyout? Forget it. Yes, unfortunately, pour moi, it was au revoir, talking book studio, bonjour, seafood brasserie. Tough break, buddy. Yes, it's just another turn in life's endless maze. None there be can rehearse the whole tale. What's that? That? Oh, that was found written on a scroll, hidden in a jar, buried in a cave near the Dead Sea. Okay, well, all, all I can say is I've never met a lobster like you before. You know when I said that you were a... Uh, uh, um, a a nut? Yeah, because you wouldn't play my dick game? I, I didn't really mean it. Oh, that, that, that's, that's most gratifying to hear. And, and, well, I have to say to you, <clears throat> before anything else transpires, I have truly savoured our time together. You are a superlative, benthic creature. Oh, gee, thanks! What the hell is a benthic creature? A bottom dweller. Well, I think you're a pretty terrific benthic creature yourself. Oh. Still say it's crazy. What is? The humans are the cream of creation. I mean, Take a look at him under the baseball cap. Do you yeah. think he's going to conquer the world anytime soon? What about her with all that hair? I bet you've got more brains in your swimmerette than she's got in her whole body. Well, I must admit, it is something to contemplate. <laughs> yeah, speaking of contemplating, do you, do you think that we'll ever, you know... What, evolve? Yeah. What was, what was that thing you said before? You mean none there be can rehearse the whole tale? And that means? Well, I think it means our beginnings are unknown, our endings are uncertain. You see, most creatures know the present dangers, but none can see clearly what came before or what lies ahead. Yeah, I, I, I think I get it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, my friend? I tell you one thing. The day ever comes when we turn the tables on them, we are going to need an awful lot of rubber bands. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs>